Item number seven is ADA Improvement 2014 Project Award of Contract. Total cost two fifty two hundred fifty two thousand three hundred thirty dollars. Diana. So the next three items on the agenda are for the award of Public Works Capital Improvement Projects. Uh, together, they total almost six million dollars, of which over four point six million is funded through grants. Mm. Excellent. So the ADA Improvements 2014 project um, is, provides for the upgrade of 39 pedestrian ex access ramps and two sidewalks. The locations are primarily Bridge Street, uh, Garden Highway, Cooper at Forbes, Gray Avenue at Fire Station 2, and El Margarita Estates. The project was advertised for bid on March 20, 2004, and on April 8, six bids were received and opened in the city clerk's office. The apparent low bidder was Dunton Construction Company of Anderson, California, and the amount of $229,389.40. The project is primarily funded through a community development block grant, uh, grant, with the remainder coming from road funds. And so staff is recommending award of the contract to Dunton Construction Company and requesting that you authorize the city manager to execute the contract. Questions for Diana? No. Okay. Through the mayor, I've I have a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. How are these sites selected uh, versus other areas in the city? These sites, several of these sites were selected through, um, through our transition plan. We actually have a process for the public to submit a complaint about ADA access. So several of these sites were selected based upon complaints. Bridge Street, uh, there was a comment um, about this particular section that there was a person in a wheelchair that had to go out into the roadway and then go up onto the sidewalk via a driveway. So they requested ramps. At the intersection of Cooper and Forbes, we received a request there based upon sidewalk, um, the, the condition of the sidewalk and the ramps. And then also um, Garden Highway was selected in advance of our rehabilitation project that we're gonna be doing with the overlay on Garden Highway. And then same thing with El Margarita Estates, because we're going to be doing an overlay as part of the Proposition 84 Waterline project, we needed to upgrade the ramps. So these won't interfere with those projects that we have. These will just be prepared in advance, and we won't be tearing them out to redo them once we Correct. start those. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? Yes. One quick. That on, on El Margarita, are we ripping those roads open to put the water line in? We're not using the existing piping? We're not using the existing piping. Okay. Okay. No. Can I get a motion from? Through then the I would so move. Okay. Got a motion from Councilmember Starkey and a second from Councilmember Dukes. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries.